Hi, I'm Sonia Choquette. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about meditation and the benefits. And before I lose you because it's like, oh God, not meditation, hate that. I want to show you that it can be actually very easy to do. And frankly, most people don't understand what meditation really serves. And I like to say it's just a vacation from your own crazy thinking for a couple minutes a day. Just gives you some space and some room to breathe. So understanding meditation isn't about making your mind go quiet because I don't know very many, maybe the Dalai Lama is successful at that, but most of us aren't very good at making your mind go completely quiet. However, what you can get good at is getting a little space and a little distance so that you're not sucked into the conversation and the drone of your mind and you can just have a little room to breathe. So let me talk to you about the benefits of meditation just to create some incentive. First, it relieves stress because it's your thoughts that freak you out and stress you out and make you crazy. So if you can get a little break from that, your body can relax and that leads to B, you sleep better. You actually do get to sleep better and I think not sleeping well is right now probably the number one problem most people are dealing with in their life because their minds are so wound up. The next benefit and the one I think that's really good is it increases your ability to tune into your intuition because your intuition is the deeper authentic guidance in you and not your crazy head. And then four, it actually really increases and improves your physical health. It gives you more energy. You know, your, your thoughts and emotions and anxieties are very draining and, and can leave you exhausted. So learning to meditate a little bit every day and having tips and techniques at work in difficult situations is really practical. So the first is a technique that is so simple. All you need to do is put your thumb and your fingers together like this because that's a signal to your mind, to your subconscious, time to relax. And it, it, the hands are connected to the heart. So if you put your hands like this and you put them like this, you kind of create a frequency that's from the heart that goes around and back to the heart. So it's not in your head. So you just put the, your hands like this, you rest them in your palms, in your lap, and you breathe in to the count of two. And you just say, I am. And then you exhale to the count of two through your nose. And you say to yourself the words, calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. You can also just breathe in calm and breathe out relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Now, you can also say the words calm, breathe in, relaxed. Ah. Now, that's a different breath. When you open your jaw, and try this with me right now, open your jaw until you hear a click in your ear. You can feel it. You feel it click in your throat and here. Ah, what that does is it opens this gateway so your energy gets out of your choked, it's like all choked up in your head and you open up this ah, throat and you go into that sigh. I call that the down the slide sigh. Ah, you actually shift your awareness from your head to your heart and your gut and it's quiet in your heart and gut. Ah, do that right now. Just let out that sigh. Ah, and then smile. And guess what? Your head's quiet. So all you have to do is that two or three or four times slowly. And that's instant meditation. That's enough. Ah, and then smile. You can do that walking down the street. You can do that in the shower. You can do that in the office. 
probably not a good idea to do it if someone's talking to you because it sounds like you're bored listening to them, which you may be, but they won't take it well. So don't do it then. Be practical and know that this I am calm or ah are two very simple ways to put yourself in a meditative state of mind. So we can extend that, but I think it's good to start with maybe two breaths, go to five breaths, go to 10, and then you kind of get into a rhythm, just closing your eyes and just breathing in, I am calm or calm and relaxed. And another mantra, a mantra means a repetitious statement that helps. And the sound of your own voice is very helpful with meditation because it's coming from your heart is to say safe and safe and relaxed, safe and sound, safe and relaxed. When you breathe in, you say safe. That's a very important word because most of us don't feel safe and that's why our brains are on fire and patrolling the borders. So if you say safe, relaxed. Now your brain needs evidence before it's going to accept some of these mantras. So what you want to do is you want to check out and notice exactly where you are. Am I safe? Okay. I'm home. I'm in my body. It's quiet. The door's locked. I'm okay. Safe in the moment. And then, ah, relaxed. When you say or or express the sound, ah, you pull your energy out of your head and into your heart and gut. And right here, the heart and the belly, this is where meditation occurs, not up here. This kind of dropping in. You ever hear the saying kind of, I, I just dropped in to, you know, I just kind of dropped in and relaxed. Literally, your consciousness is dropping in to your body. So these are some very, very simple techniques. Rather than fight the noise in your brain, use the sound of your voice to turn your attention to a different channel. Calm and relaxed. I am at peace. I am calm. Simple statements, safe and sound. And you kind of make it a sing-songy mantra. Really lulls the brain, which I call your barking dog, into a more kind of relaxed, sit back and observe mode. I don't believe that we need to meditate like it's some sort of military assignment, some moral, spiritual code, because there's a part of you that's just going to rebel. Go, I don't want to relax. I don't want to do that. So instead of saying, okay, you got to meditate for 20 minutes, instead say, I'm going to take a vacation from my brain for a few minutes. I want a vacation. I need it. I need a breather. You know, breathing is very important to meditation. And we use that expression, I need a breather. Because breath does give you a break from your thinking. Ah. So another quick tip is to give yourself room to breathe. So when you breathe, See yourself breathing from your heart space and pushing everything out of your body above and below your heart, front and back, and to both sides at the same time. Kind of like a pop-up tent of light. Pop. Pop. Ah. Everything's on the outside of my pop-up tent. My clear cube of light. My room to breathe. Give yourself the thought that I have a room to breathe, that it is my safe and sound place. Breathing in and breathing out. Start with two breaths in, two breaths out. Go to four, four breaths in, pause, four breaths out. Pause, four breaths in, pause, four breaths out. Pause. Try two, 
go to four, go to six, eight, ten, and then if you're really in a roll, just carry on. So that's a quick technique for how to meditate and use your breath and sound and your voice. And just give yourself room to breathe. That's all you need, a little vacation from your brain and room to breathe. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. If you're new to my channel and you did enjoy it, I invite you to subscribe so you can have more opportunity to get these quick tips and tools for living an intuitive and magical blessed life. All my love.